What is going down, Assassin's Creed Valhalla fans? 1.2.0 is among us. Finally, hopefully a TU that's going to work. They've been talking about known issues to hot fixes, which quite frankly leave the game in a unplayable state for certain battles. There is a huge list that we'll be going over and seeing what changes with some pretty cool loot that's coming up. My name is Matt here the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we'll be looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla and see what Nubisoft, hopefully Ubisoft, has fixed. So this patch will be coming out on the 16th, as you can see that there's associated sizes. No reason to put that on a thumbnail, you can just read it right here. Pretty easy, leaves the thumbnail looking pretty nice. One of the core things that comes down to that is nice just like that thumbnail is going to be looking at the events. A new festival is among us. The Stara Festival will be added on the 18th. So shortly after this update, it'll be prepped and on their server will be launched from the 18th all the way till April 8th. So take advantage of that and the features that are blooming with everything that you'll be needing to be searching for certain eggs among certain special rewards. They'll also provide some more details as the situation comes past the 18th. A lot of excitement is centered around a change in appearance. Transmog is one of the cooler things that we will end up seeing on the actual list that you can get. Highly anticipated insurance change for the features. So, it is definitely coming for as far as tomorrow, and you can see this piece in your collection get a little bit better and not rustic. Now for 50 silver, you'll end up seeing the blacksmith, and this will hopefully get Gunner excited to change that and improve it to something so much newer. On top of the situation for as far as what we end up going down to for the changed items that will be marked with a star in the inventory. Looking at new features, the Fearless Leaper, the Raven's Loot, and the Loot's Food all come down to certain applications that will be able to leap from damage, gather up loot and targets, on top of just having Eivor has a higher chance of looting from food to dead bodies, which is pretty cool. Now the camera angles for as far as the close camera options is going to be getting a nice rework. Uh, once toggled, it will be able to activate a closer camera during the regular gameplay, which was needed, on top of the situation of the combat encounters, which was desperately needed. It was definitely something that made you feel like you were trying to battle the camera and not the opponent. The option can be toggled inside the game menu. Now, game improvements come down to a huge list. Now, miscellaneous will be anything from having more cats throughout England, which... I don't understand why they needed to add more cats and not having enough foxes in certain areas it also addresses the downgrade of the ubisoft connected reward for as far as the spartan bow and the moonlight axe the improved characters and the physics behaviors when running up in the stairs the cloth no longer goes burr that's the last joke i'll read from them moving on past that cold joke we can see that the small boats now catch fire when you throw the torches at them now that's pretty heating up for awesome looking at the balances they can come down to it addresses a lot for as far as the board that comes down from anywhere from the remaining inactive when conditions are met down to the boar master melee and not building up fire on the player the arc perk to remain inactive above 90 percent of hp the huntsman and the ruin to be activated when the conditions are not met also for as far as the players that break in the heavy ruinic attack the light attacks during this third phase so there's a lot of combos that have been missed inside of the situation that hopefully they'll be able to get and it also has an issue where the prevented guaranteed assassination which was on the list multiple times from known issues to fixed issues to now we're seeing it have an update to do it which i'm not really believing a lot of the stuff that they're putting down here i'll have to see exactly what ends up happening and play the game along look out to the community to see what they think for as far as what actually has been changed quite frankly i think that ubisoft's been dropping the ball and they've just been putting a lot of stuff on pen and paper that they're not actually doing for as far as the situation for the reduced damage and dealt the acquiring on the shoulder bash ability so there are some more stuff for as far as the events and quests and i definitely will have this link down below you can check it out as we scroll all the way down and you can see that there is a ton of stuff this definitely feels like a you know day one fixed game no i'm being a little sarcastic this is horrible you should never have this like 
months later and you're still continuously doing this kind of stuff where it's like this is just beta you sold us beta but looking at past that situation and i definitely implore you to check out to see if you are afflicted by these missions that have been staggeringly long you can see that the graphics and the audios and the animation come into it various graphics lighting and texture issues the clipping issues the various character and npcs and animation issues allowed players to unequip and weapon mid animation causing the animation issues which i badge ton of animation issues down to gates being broken but still invisibly closed as well as the impact for as far as characters and the details setting when the world details graphics are adjusted looking at the issues that cause the game not to restart when the settings inside of the graphics mode and one thing that they don't have is just a restart mission thing which is pretty noobish for ubisoft looking at the situation past that where we can see that the guards wouldn't recheck already investigated hiding spots when elvor whistles for them so th this basically just a hot mess river raids come into a, another huge list and i definitely implore you to check this one out as too just like the mission list as you can see that there's a ton ton of river raids they just added this so I, I i will give them some wiggle room this is a newer portion of what they added on top of there but they still haven't fixed the original game so they shouldn't be adding more stuff they should be fixing what they got also on top of the combat which is one of the more bigger things that has personally me has rocked me with this game and makes me not want to play it that much because the story is rich the story is great but when you look at how many combat situations there are it's just it's bad like again in my opinion this is beta um, the world for as far as addressing some of the shorter issues compared to the missions and the list we just cleared the various issues where the players could get struck also comes down to the portion where the players could get struck and unable to move themselves inside of the certain areas of the church so there, again it just seems like you're stuck in place the issues in the world you're not being able to move there's hazards in the air that are basically causing you to get stuck it's basically all the what the world issues are you, you're getting stuck and they're just going to redundantly repeat it over and over again instead of fixing it so hopefully this patch that comes up will actually fix a lot of stuff but i i'm holding my breath honestly with ubisoft they haven't really delivered in fact they haven't even really delivered that well on watchdogs legion either i think that they're trying but they're not trying hard enough now ui comes down to a shorter list which is nice for the various issues inside of the hud the various location issues which i find to be horrendous um you know when you're trying to get to a mission and you can't get to a mission you have to try to find it that it, you waste a lot of time and quite frankly you could be playing better games at that point for as far as the issues that quick actions were the wheels and the accessibility in the beginning of the game stadia addresses some portions for the photo mode and the issues that cause the hud elements to disappear and the world's map unavailable for as far as Sheowulf at the night when he was in bed now looking at the systems that basically come down to play again these are a lot of things that are a little bit more specific for each individual console but they don't really actually say playstation 4 that is so again i'm kind of reading this as the very first ones kind of a universal worldly bs very nice that they address these but there's nothing specific that they're talking about where you can see right here there is tons of specifics so you can see the pc addresses the issues for that prevents the disorder and the ancients take my hand and the enemy of my enemy and the over design too for unlocking this was a situation that hopefully will be a fix tomorrow or today if you're downloading at this very moment the address issues for as far as the minor portions of the multi-monitor setups that causes the borderless portions and that's kind of a bummer or as far as the pc players wanting to get more pixels across both screens addresses issues for the msi voice commands that stop working playstation 4 and 5 also come down to the situation for share play and the options not being available and the issue that prevented players from uploading saves to the cloud which would suck because especially if you get killed and you go back and you have no cloud save well now you're starting way farther back then they have the balls to say improve performance stability and addresses issues that it freeze when dodging while holding a oil jar inside of a crypt i mean that's so random but if you look at what they basically say right over here on their twitter 
that we back out of this, which I think this is cool. That they added up what was going to happen for as far as the transmog. But when you look right over here, this is basically what they've really only fixed. They've added a festival. They've changed the appearance. They've closed caption. They added some new skills. Game improvements are a hot mess and I don't believe them. And yes, you're going to be looking at 12 to 8 gigabytes for as far as what's going down. So tomorrow when you download this leave a comment i'd like to hear what you have to say for as far as what's been improved so far it's been an epic fail and rolling with that since day one of what they've actually been able to produce so i'm not going to back this game up until they physically actually fix it and i don't implore anyone to buy this game past the $30 or $20 mark in a bargain bin, because that's pretty much what it's worth. Ubisoft has continued to steamroll Assassin's Creed when they made a promise to have quality over quantity, and they've gone back to quantity over quality. So prove me wrong, Ubisoft. Give us a game that we can fall in love again with. If you're new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe for newer content. Absolutely free and helps me as a creator, and you'll be getting honest reviews of what ends up happening, not just something that's bought from an actual company that's just said, buy the game. No, I'm not like that, and quite frankly, this game is not really viable right now. So, for most people that are playing this, hopefully this definitely does improve it, because I know the money you've invested is worth a lot to you, and you should be getting every penny's worth for every pixel's worth that you are investing into. So, see you guys and gals in the near future, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.